GM ETS, as known as Greater Tanah Melayu Electric Train Service, is a high-speed electric intercity train network running along the west coast of peninsular Malaysia. Operated by KTMB, the trains under the KTM ETS network have a top speed of around 140 km per hour. The three major routes for KTM ETS trains are from Butterworth to KL Central, Ipoh to KL Central, and thirdly from Padang Besar passing through Butterworth, Ipoh, KL Central, Seremban, and finally reaching Gamas. Unlike intercity trains in developed countries, KTM ETS does not offer multiple types of seat. Instead, it has three different coach classes, which are ETS Platinum, ETS Gold, and ETS Silver. However, the features are pretty much the same across the three classes. The major difference is ETS Silver will stop at more low activity stations compared to other classes. KTM Computer is an electrified commuter rail service first introduced in 1995, catering especially to commuters in Kuala Lumpur and the surrounding suburban areas. KTMB provides 248 commuter services daily, serving 48 stations along 175 route kilometers. The network consists of two main sectors which are Seremban Line and Port Klang Line running at 15 minutes frequency during peak hours and 20 minutes frequency during off-peak hours. The Tanjung Malin and Rumbau shuttle services running at Seremban Line, both end stations operate at half-hourly to hourly frequencies. Commuters coaches are currently the most modern in KTM fleet and are all air-conditioned. There are many facilities at KTM Tanjung Malin, such as Toilets, ticket counters, surau, and parcel office. Mostly, students will use Prabet or Grab to go to the KTM. So today, I'm going to experience it myself to go to the KTM from new campus. So let. When using a car or riding a motorcycle, the time travel needed from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris UPSI, Campus Sultan Azlan Shah to the KTM station in Tanjung Malim is about 10 to 15 minutes. KTM is a transportation that connects one place to another place. As for students that come from KL, they will take KTM to reach their hometown. As for myself, I came from Sabah, then I will take KTM from Tanjung Malim to reach KLAA in order to return to my hometown. When I speak in Malay, I use KTM to return to my hometown which is from Tanjung Malim to Kedah. Uh, we always use the service provided by KTM and how frequently that we use it? Okay, uh, uh, I always use uh, uh, the service provided by KTM. 
idea. Mm-hmm. Since I'm actually working uh, as for the preparatory uh, once a month. And do you prefer using KTM or EPS for your journey? And why that you choose either one? Uh, I rather choose KTM because KTM uh, provides you the cheaper price mm-hmm. and the journey is uh, we can find uh, where we want to go because we have uh, a lot of stations. Uh, ah, yeah, it's a lot of stations uh, from here to United States. Uh, uh-huh. And the main thing is uh, it's cheaper. Are you so- are you satisfied with the service that provided by KTM? Oh yes, uh, absolutely satisfied. But uh, in some way, there are uh, some lags. Uh, do you use ATS or KTM? Why? Oh, yes, I use it. Because it is more cheaper for you to use. It is more friendly. And also, it, it, it makes you eco-friendly because uh, there is no dangerous gases that are free to atmosphere like carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide like that okay. Okay, uh, The last question, are you satisfied with the service provided by KTM? Why? Okay, for me, yes it is uh, the satisfied because we need this transportation or this service to go to one another place because it helped us to get uh, what we want and what we have to do because without these services uh, we have to use our own money to to go somewhere else and uh, for the other side of these services they need uh, more the system always broke down oh, okay. okay so they have to Maintenance. Ah, maintain, maintenance it uh, frequently to get it a good service for our region. Have, have you learned something today? It's good if you have learned, if you have learned something. So this is our this is our present documentary. We hope you like it. Thank you.